Wait, I don't know if I did it or not. Okay. How can you tell? Okay. Oh, that's. Yeah, that's it's recording. filming right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Adam Zanz, Orthiastic Scuffles, here, um, talking for a few more moments about the Wisconsin Governor, uh, Scott Walker, and Lieutenant Governor, Rebecca Cleefish. Um, I hope to not dwell over much on politics and the realm of partisanship and, and uh, party disputes and and things of that nature, but for the next month I am going to discuss a little bit um, why it is important for Wisconsin citizens to go ahead and follow through with what they've begun. They collected uh, nearly one million signatures for the recall of our governor, and it's important to follow through and vote in accordance with their conscience. Now there were certain reasons why um, they chose, um, realized that this was a governor acting out of character. Um, he was not um, the governor who he claimed that he was when he initially ran. One of those things was um, that Governor Walker is a pro-life governor. Well, really? I think when we look at his record, when we look at it carefully, we discover that he is anything but a pro-life candidate or choice for the people of Wisconsin. Um, just to go through a just a veritable litany of actions that he's undertaken as governor, including some maneuvers that would be considered overstepping his power, his gubernatorial powers, his powers as governor of Wisconsin. Um, from Badger Care, he's already kicked 17,000 um, members off of this um, from receiving life-giving um, sustenance aid. Uh, state aid, and he's tried to get an additional thousands and thousands more off, uh, but it was deemed illegal by the uh, federal government standards, so he wasn't allowed to kick as many people off of the Badger Care pro program that he wanted to as governor. Now, is that the act of a pro-life? Is that someone who's looking at the picture and, and really um, taking action to um, help uh, sustain the life that is brought into this world? the young children, the babies who need nourishment and care, um, is, is that supporting them in where they are? In addition, he cut $380,000 off the food share program, just to name a, no, a number, uh, excuse me, another another cut which was made. Family care, $84.9 million was also dropped from that program that it was planned. Medicaid, $500 million, it's half a billion dollars, was taken out of that program. Where is all this going? Is it um, going to um, do something extraordinary for the people, maybe providing an additional service that was lacking before his uh, term as governor? Well, apparently not, because he needs to take aid from other sources um, in order to balance his budget now. Um, one of the things that he's done, that you may have heard of, is he's taken uh, money from a mortgage settlement program from the federal government um, that was designated for those who've been foreclosed on in their homes. He's taken that money. Um, he's taken exactly 25.6 million from that settlement money that was supposed to go towards foreclosed uh, homeowners and towards the reestablishment of na neighborhoods where the homes have been abandoned. He's taken that and he's used it to try to balance his budget. So after all these cuts that do not um, did that show his concern and his care as a pro-life candidate? Um, why, why would he then need to take additional money from people who've been um, foreclosed on um, wrongfully uh, or fraudulently? Why would he take that money then to try to balance his budget? Um, clearly, we're not dealing with someone who um, is really a, a pro-life candidate here. Um, someone who is pro-life is not just going to be for the um, against the abortion of the fetus, but they are also going to um, care um, and look at the bigger picture, at the long-term needs um, for children born into impoverished homes. Uh, it's going to be someone who fights against poverty because fighting for life means also fighting against poverty. Now, um, for these reasons, again, I think that um, Wisconsinites need to step forward uh, this June 5th and they need to um, step into the polls and to act on 
um, the action that they've already undertaken, which is to recall the governor of Wisconsin, Scott Walker. Thank you.